Okay, in this video, we're going to go over getting the client. This is for our client side and how to get content and use the client to download that content. Now, what we're going to do is use something called Grabit. And you can find it here. You see the site Seamus.com. So what you want to do is download it here and install it. Okay, it's an XE file, but it is safe as I've installed it myself. So we'll just keep and then once it's download, we'll install. And so just go through the install here. Okay, so they just bring up a thank you page here. Let's launch grab it. Okay, so next now it wants our server name here and we're going to use the one we just got in our email. You can also get it from your client area. Okay, so here is the email I got. You'll see here reader free account and they give us this so this is our host name right here now if we had a premium account then we can use this one and then we have ports and we can use these ports so I usually use 119 or 143 so let's just go back here we're going to put this in here and then we're going to click next and then username and password okay so our username is right here and password right below it. Okay, so we'll copy that, paste it in here, click next, and then finish. Okay, now grab it, we'll launch. Okay, so now it's retrieving the list of serve of user groups from Usenet. Okay, now you see that there's a grab at Usenet search. This only works if you're a member of their actual service. Okay, so you can't really do a search in here. They'll give you like two searches a day or something, so it, it's not really useful that way but what we can do is we can do a search from an external product I'm going to show you that in a second so let's just have a look around the user interface here so here you have your update groups and that'll just update the user groups refresh groups again pretty simple and you can subscribe to a group now if you right click over here you can go to your server properties and it shows you the properties of the server. So it brought it all in by itself when we put in the username and password. Okay, so it's got the everything set up that we need here. So we don't really have to do anything with that in here, but I just wanted to show you that this is where you can get at your server properties. Okay, so you'll see down in the right here that we have threads, and this is where the work is done through the threads and down here you'll see your different work that has been done okay what's been downloaded what's left to download etc you got a little chart over here shows you your jobs in the queue there'll be a how much how long it will take and so on okay so when their jobs go in they go into batch here and you'll see a list of them okay so really we're not going to do too much with this other than we'll go and we'll download content and then we'll bring it into here so this uses the nzb files that i was talking about earlier that's why you need a client okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to go and search for content